Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I hope you guys are enjoying your day, having a super froggy fresh one at that. I'm checking out this trailer ramp door that uh, my brother and I started fabricating here. This is the frame for it, at least. Now, I have never built a ramp door, so there are a lot of things still going through my head. We still gotta put plywood on it for crush to go up or dirt bikes to go up. And then you have the other side that will have the aluminum siding to make it look pretty. Those two are the easy things. The hardest thing is figuring out how the hinges are going to work and if that's going to have enough strength because either that or that side is the bottom portion of the door. So is this eighth inch stuff gonna be strong enough to just weld a hinge to or do I have to now add strength to that by adding a new a joist or a stud, whatever you want to call that. So while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to work on this mower. I'm going to give it to my mother for Mother's Day. As you guys saw in one of my vlogs, I picked this up at the scrapyard. Well, not at the scrapyard, but out of somebody's trunk that was at the scrap. So I guess you could say that. I used to fix these things all the time, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, we can make this thing run better than the new ones. I see it, Jake the toilet snake. And just like that, this is the next day. I have the trailer in the back. You probably can't even see it. This truck sits up so high. There it is, you can see it. It looks like it's gonna be 1251. What I mean by that is the best time to get fuel. There is nobody here. It's a beautiful thing. So the road that I'm currently on is actually a disaster. And there was a guy just a, a little bit ago back there. He was filming the road. So I wonder if he's like doing one of those like social media pitches to the state where it's like, hey, look at how terrible these roads are. And then they finally come and fix it because enough people have seen it that they're like, oh yeah, that kind of looks bad if we don't fix that. Yeah, New York, if you could please do everybody who has a vehicle a favor, please uh, fix these roads. They are, they could use a little bit of work. Just some constructive criticism from the 3D machine. There's the Jeep, ladies and gentlemen. You guys understand I have to drive this thing on. I'm taking up the entire parking lot. So I'll get to you in just one second. All right, the Jeep is on the back. As you can clearly see, uh, the mechanics came out and checked out the Jeep and were talking to me a little bit about this whole PCM pro process. So I told the mechanics that they wanted to stay up to date on this project, on this build. They can go to 3D Machines on YouTube and check it out. So now we are headed back to the warehouse. Gonna unload this thing. Unfortunately, I have a huge mess in front of the door. So this is, uh, we got chaos, which is always a good thing. Now this, this is farming. Holy smokes, that thing is huge. Danny met me up at the shop. He's going to detail the mower that I just got done working on, because as I, as you guys know, this will be my mother's Mother's Day present. It's a beauty. Well, it will be after Danny gets his hands on it. While he's working on that, we're gonna move to the trailer ramp door frame here. I originally MIG welded this thing together and I used a generator. The generator didn't put out enough power for the welder to get proper penetration. So basically this thing's just kinda cobbled together. But, it, but it's staying together, which is good. So now we'll bust out the, uh, the stick welder. I, I could still use the MIG welder now that I'm at the shop, but I'll use the stick welder because we'll you know practice up on the skills. MIG is like having a hot glue gun. Stick, you know, that's something fun. Danny's making that thing sparkle. I'm over here, I originally was stick welding, then I got my slag hammer out and realized, hey, if I'm going to stick weld this whole thing, I'm going to have to slag hammer this whole thing. And that's something I don't really want to be dealing with. So we put the MIG welder back together and we're gonna MIG weld it. It was fun while it lasted. I ran out of gas. No more gas means no more MIG welding. I could go back to stick, but no matter what, whether I run that without gas or run this with a stick, I'm gonna have to clean the weld. I don't wanna clean the weld, I'll just pick up some gas because we're gonna need it in the future anyways. And we go to rig this thing up to the camper itself. Now we gotta bring in that Jeep, which means we have to do some cleanup. It's back from the dealer. I, I don't wanna talk too loud though, so please uh, turn up your audio at this point. Uh, my throat really hurts. So I got the Jeep back, I got it off the trailer as you guys can see. Um, they kind of gave us the same kind of information that uh, Jason already understood. Uh, Jason already looked up and researched uh, what needed to happen on this thing. And we were hoping that taking it to the dealer would allow us or allow them to go into the PCM and reprogram it. Unfortunately, they did not and they could not do that. So they all suggested uh, that one kid knew who I was, so then all the other mechanics, so then he told all the other mechanics, so when I picked it up, they were like, yeah, we watched your video, and uh, we we're just, we we're gonna call you and ask all the questions, but we just sat down and watched the vlog. So at this point, I really don't know um, exactly what I'm gonna do. I have a few phone numbers that I'm going to call, 
and hopefully get this thing going because I don't want this to strictly be an off-road machine. I want to be able to drive this on the road. I want it to look pretty. I want it to put out all sorts of horsepower. Well, at least more than it's got right now. So I'm excited for it and it will get done. It's just uh, I don't know which way I'm going to go so I can't state that in the vlog just this second. I guess Kyle got a new rim and tire for his trailer so I got some lug nuts if you can see them. I'm gonna go test fit them. I got three different sizes. Hopefully one of these fit. The only thing is, is once he puts this tire on, it's gonna be easier to jackknife. It's not that one. It's gotta be this guy. That's the one. There's so many more things to do, but I think it's time to relax and just brap it out. Is that thing gonna be able to handle our trails? If Jake handled it on the trails, then I can handle it. I, I, I don't know about that. So I'm fueling up crush over here. Danny and his buddy are over here cleaning, or not cleaning, but they're they're putting lube on his chain. Not only is this Jake's old machine, but that's Jake's old machine. So these guys really get Jake's style. The machine decal is slightly less shiny today, but still looks froggy fresh. Just like that, everybody's loading up. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We got a little dirty, did a little bit of work today. We had a lot of fun. The sun's setting in New York. Have a froggy fresh day. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Oh, 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 oh,